you guys, it's Jidel, and today we have put all of the best players in each position on different teams. Well, actually, not all in the same sim. So we're going to do an all point guard team, an all shooting guard team, all small forward team, all power forward team, and all center team separately. If we want to put them all in the same league at the same time, that could be a different video. But for now, we're just going to see if a team of the best players in each position could win in the NBA. So we're going to take a look at our roster. We're doing team point guard first. Now, I am doing it with the Warriors, so... Um, we're going to take a three second pause for my friend Kyle and all other OKC fans to vomit at seeing the side of Westbrook on the Warriors roster. Flap and Flossum, what's that? Okay, now that you've got that image out of your head, let's do it. So here's team point guard. I put all the best point guards in the league on the team. Basically, since Steph was the highest rated player, I put them all on Steph's team. For shooting guard, they're all on Harden's team, etc., etc. So this team is Steph Curry, Westbrook, Lillard, Irving, John Wall, Kemba. And I was worried about this team because, you know, they got no size. The 2K Sim engine really seems to favor rebounding centers. Boom. Ben Simmons is a point guard in this year's 2K. He was a power forward last year. So Ben Simmons can be our starting center. And then kind of drops off after Simmons a little bit. There's no like 85, 86 overall point guards. Uh, Derek Rose, Isaiah round out the team. So we have a good point guard team. I don't know how good this team will do. Let's just make sure the computer is starting Ben Simmons at center, not Kyrie Irving. I think Westbrook should be our power forward. <laughs> With the other guys who are on the Warriors, I kind of just traded them to other teams. So, you know, I just traded Wall, Cousins. I don't think it'll make much of a difference on the Sim, to be honest with you guys. I sent Kevin Durant back to the Thunder. <laughs> so maybe that team will stop us, but let's see how our all point guard team does. We're just gonna Sim to the end of the season, take a look at the standings, the stats. And we beat the Thunder right off the bat, so maybe this all-point guard team would be legit. I mean, it is five really good players, even though we don't have size. We would definitely score a lot of points, you know, good passing. It is a point guard team. And Ben Simmons, you know, he could play center. Why not? Why can't Ben Simmons be a center? I don't know. So we're actually killing it. This team is really good. Now, I'm going to give my predictions for all five teams. I don't think we're going to win the title, even though we're just destroying the league right now. The team I think will be the worst is the all-power forward team, because the highest rated power forward in 2K as of the time I made this video with the injury-free rosters was Porzingis at an 88. So their best player is an 88. So the power forward team probably has the least going for it. They don't have the height to out-rebound centers. They don't have the skills to outplay guards. So is the power forward just the worst position in basketball, if you think about it? <laughs> like, what do the power forwards do? That's why so many teams are now starting small forwards at power forwards. Better shooting, quickness, you don't lose a lot on defense, and you don't really lose a lot of rebounding either. Makes me think the power forward position's kind of dying, but that's whatever. But here we are. The all-point guard team is actually doing so much better than I thought. I thought they were going to struggle because of the lack of rebounding, but I think having Ben Simmons on the team is really, like, what actually gives the point guard team a chance to compete in these games. Because we are scoring a ton of points. And holy cow, we finished the year 68 and 14. Kevin Durant though won MVP for the Thunder. Um, I'm curious to look at the standings. Somehow we didn't have a six man of the year. All NBA first team, only Westbrook made it for us. He averaged 18, eight and five. Okay, not bad. The second team, we didn't have anybody. And the third team, we also didn't have anybody. Interesting. So looking at the standings, Durant, Paul George team, that team is pretty good. They might beat us, giving them Durant. Lakers, a little, eh. And in the, the East, the Raptors, of course, doing pretty good. On our team, the stats, Westbrook, Lillard, Curry, you know, pretty even scoring, honestly. Ben Simmons only averaged around nine rebounds a game. I was expecting him to average a ton. Looks like we literally gave no minutes to the bottom guys. Sorry. And a lot of good assist numbers. You know, everyone's just passing the ball around. Kind of interesting to see how that works out. Assist numbers pretty even. Scoring pretty even with our starting lineup. Just kind of interesting to see how it all works out. Um, so let's see how the playoffs go. All right, so we swept the Dallas Mavericks. Now we're going against the Rockets. Now remember, the Rockets don't have Chris Paul. He's on our team. So they're starting Ty Lawson, and I think we're going to beat them. You know, Capella, you know, he's definitely a big boy, but I kind of like that Ben Simmons matchup versus Capella. And yes, we're winning this series pretty... Oh, no, 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 they took a game. Okay, 4-1. Now we're going against the Thunder, who are undefeated in the playoffs here. Let's see how this goes. Can we beat the Thunder? They take game one. They take game two. They, we take game three, they take game four, and we take five, six, do we take seven? 
OKC blew another 3-1 lead in the conference finals to the Golden State Warriors. It happened again. It keeps happening. And we're going against the Milwaukee Bucks in the NBA Finals. Brooke Lopez is not a guy who's going to out-rebound Ben Simmons. I'm going to tell you all that right now. So I actually think we're going to clean sweep. The all-point guard team has an advantage at center. <laughs> who would have ever thought that? And we are the champions. So the all-point guard team, yeah, they win the finals. Are they actually a finals team? I don't know. I think they'd get beat up power forward quite a bit. But, you know, good passing. and just It's just so much talent, so much shooting ability. So I could see the all-point guard team winning. We got Ben Simmons at center. That's a huge advantage, something that the all-shooting guard team won't have. So now we're going to do the all-shooting guard team. And the all-shooting guard team is the Houston Rockets. So our roster... Harden, DeRozan, Butler, Thompson, Oladipo, Devin Booker, McCollum. I think the first thing we need to do is choose who our center is going to be. Now, Karis LeVert is 6'7", DeRozan is 6'7", and Butler is 6'8". So I think Butler will have to be our center. DeRozan will be our power forward. So let's just set that up real quick. All right, Butler's already at power forward. They put Clay at center. I guess we could survive with Clay at center. He's a good defensive player. He's a big guy. Yeah, Donovan Mitchell's at point. Harden at shooting guard. I think this is a good team. I don't think they're going to be as good as the point guard team, which went 68 and 14. I do think we're going to hit high 50s, though. So let's see how it goes. We do win our debut against the Pelicans. Surprising, I would assume Anthony Davis would eat us alive in that game. All right, so we finished the year 47 and 35. I'm honestly surprised because we were like 21 and 21 in the middle of the season. We really kicked it up after that. We had no award winners and no one made the first team for us. It doesn't look like anyone made the second team. It doesn't look like anyone made the third team for us. But Victor Ladipo, all defense first team. We are the four seed, so we were kind of right in the middle of the pack. The Thunder pulled ahead now that the Warriors didn't have Clay, I suppose. And looking at our team's stats, Again, balanced scoring, assist number is not as good as the point guard team. I think not having that kind of player who could be a center really hurt this team a lot. Yeah, I don't know, we just seem like an average team. Maybe we'll be good in the playoffs because we just have so much talent. But here in the first round against the Clippers, it's a close series, we're up 2-1, we're up 3-1, and we're, we win 4-1. Now we're going against the number one seeded Oklahoma City Thunder. We could be. We just have a lot of talent, but we don't have size. So Steven Adams could eat us alive this series. But we're up 2-1, 2-2, 3-2 two two, two us. And it's 3-3. Three three. We go. We beat the Thunder in seven games. We're going against the Warriors now. We don't have Clay, so maybe Clay can help us win this series. They take one. They take two. They take three. They don't take four, though. We take four, and they take five. So we would lose in the conference finals with the all-shooting guard team. Apparently, but that's the 2k sim engine in a nutshell for some reason my lineup that I made isn't showing up on here So I'm gonna restart my 2k see what's going on All right Well for some reason it won't let me load team small forward or team power forward So for now we're gonna do team center so team center is the Pelicans Pelic They considered Anthony Davis a, a center in this year's 2k He was a power forward last year if I'm not mistaken So team center Anthony Davis Joel Embiid DeMarcus Cousins Jokic Drummond Gobert Towns Horford Wide side. There's actually more shooting on this team than I anticipated, but I don't think we have a lot of ball handling. So should Anthony Davis be the point guard? Who should be the point guard on this team? I don't know. This is a tough choice. Let's see what the computer thinks the lineup should be. Computer thinks Towns, Jokic, Embiid, Davis, Cousins, with Gobert, Drummond, Horford, Whiteside coming off the bench. I feel like our bench is all these just rebounding, not shooting centers, except for Horford and Gasol. So I don't know how that's going to affect the team. I don't really know how I would do this lineup, so I'm just going to leave how, how the computer was. I have a bad feeling about this team. We don't have a lot of spacing. We don't have a lot of ball handling. Don't think the center team will do well, but maybe I'll be proven wrong. We do win our first game. We won our second game. Maybe we just have too much size. The 2K Sim Engine loves rebounding. All right, so we finished the season with the best record of all time, 75-7. and seven. LeBron was MVP, Luka Rookie of the Year. Uh, no awards for us, except for our coach. And we did not have anyone make the All-NBA first team. I don't know how that's possible, but Anthony Davis made the second team, and Jokic made the third team. Davis, all defense. Do -do -do. So we're clearly the number one seed. It'd be a kind of a shocker if we didn't win the finals. I'm curious to see what our stats looked like. Davis, 19 a game. Cousins, 18 a game. Joel, 18 a game. Jokic, around 15 a game. 
Rebounding numbers. No one on our team really killed it with rebounds. Honestly, we all just all got a decent amount. Assist numbers. Jokic, you know, he did good. Six assists. 6.6 .6 assists a game. I like that. Shooting percentage is all pretty good. You know, we're the center team. Uh, Three-point percentages. <laughs> Gasol and Cousins really shot the ball well for us. That really helped. And Town shooting 94% from the line helps too. Yeah, this team was really good. So, you know, I personally don't think a center, all center team would do that good. I've heard, I don't remember if it was college or NBA, but I've heard that they've, you know, teams have scrimmaged their guards versus their bigs. And I've heard team guards pretty much always beat all team bigs. You know, personally, I think it's good to have a lot of guards and bigs on your team, but I've heard in just pure guard versus pure big matchups at high level basketball, usually team guards win, but you never know. You know, these are the greatest centers of all time. It's not just a collection of bigs on one team. It's the greatest centers in the league right now. I think I just called them the greatest centers of all time. That's not true. I take that back if that's what I said, but here we are in the playoffs and we narrowly beat the Houston Rockets and we're gonna take the Raptors and we're gonna beat the Raptors. Anthony Davis finals MVP, not a surprise, probably the most versatile player on our team. He can shoot, handle the ball a little bit. He can kind of, he's got a lot of athleticism unlike some of the other guys who can shoot and handle the ball in the center team. So now I gotta figure out why these power forward and small forward lineups won't go into my league. I know if you don't have at least eight players on each team, it won't work, but that's definitely not the case. So uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, so I'm back. I'm here with Team Small Forward. Now, I think by far this would be the best team because look, arguably, you could argue the best four players on Team Small Forward are the best four players in the NBA. Now, sure, you can make a case for Anthony Davis or Steph Curry. So I think at the very worst, you have four of the best six players, four of the best five, maybe four of the best four players in the entire NBA. You got LeBron, Durant, Giannis, Small forward, you know, it's the most versatile position. They can guard guards, they can guard big men. You can shoot the ball, handle the ball, rebound the ball. We got everything we need on this team. We got George, Leonard, Giannis playing defense. I mean, this team is just perfect. We got everything we need. So I think this is the best team of the position teams you could make in the NBA. Now let's see what the lineup thinks it should be. It wants us to start 80 overall Josh Richardson at point guard. I actually think we should start LeBron James at point guard given that he's the best passer on the team. And we're gonna run Giannis at center. It wanted to bench Giannis. I, I love Josh Richardson. Don't think he should be a real starter on this team, to be honest. I think this team could win like 80 games. I'm not even kidding. This team is insane. So I'm expecting a lot from Team Small Forward here, guys. Hopefully they do well. All right, Cousins won MVP with Durant off the Warriors being on my small forward team. Again, we don't really have any award winners except for Coach of the Year. We did get first place in our conference though, and none of our guys made all NBA first team. Giannis and LeBron made the second team and Durant made the third team. Okay, so we're the number one seed. Teams without their small forwards removed. The Warriors, it just shows you how stacked the Warriors are that they still won 57 games after taking Durant off their team. Taking Paul George off the Thunder, they still got 44. Taking Luka off the Mavs, they somehow got to 49, okay. Luka's been very good for them. Um, in the East, the Raptors still dominated even without Kawhi. Celtics did good without Tatum and Hayward. Durant led the team in scoring with 17 a game. LeBron at 16.7, Giannis at 15.7. Assist number is pretty good. LeBron averaged about eight a game. That's why I had him playing point. You know LeBron's the point guard on this team. He could play any position though. He's LeBron James, one of the best players of all time. Jordan fans are just getting salty hearing me say that. I didn't even call him the GOAT. All right, anyway, we're just gonna simulate the current round. I assume we're gonna win the title because this team is just bonkers. And we beat the Utah Jazz four to one, going against the Portland Trail Blazers, who are really the same team. We didn't steal a small forward from them, so maybe they'll be formidable or maybe we will just hit them with a clean sweep or not, a little gentleman sweep. Oh no, it's going to game six and we beat them. Going against the Rockets, again, they didn't really have a dominant small forward on their team, so they didn't really get changed much. So that's another powerful team, but we're up 2 nothing. We're up 3 nothing. 3 one 3-2, 3-3. Oh my God, we blew a 3 nothing lead to the Houston Rockets. Well, I will say in real life, if the Lakers all small forward team played the Rockets, I don't even think it would be competitive, to be honest with you guys. I think the Lakers would just absolutely dominate every single game. We could put Kawhi on Harden, we could put Giannis on whoever. LeBron could guard Chris Paul. I just don't see the path for Houston having a chance in this series. I honestly don't see the path for any team playing against the small forward team to winning the game. Maybe other than the Sixers because Sixers are Pelicans because they have Embiid and Davis who could really control the paint. But even then, I mean, 
Are they stopping Giannis? I don't think anyone's stopping Giannis. But nonetheless, the Celtics going against the Rockets. The Celtics win even without Tatum and Hayward. That just shows you how stacked they are too. Um, so that will pretty much be the video. You guys are probably wondering what's going on with Team Power Forward. I've now tried to remake their roster five separate times and every time I've remade it, it just won't show up as a usable roster. I have no idea why. I don't get an error message. I don't get a this team doesn't have 14 players message. I don't get anything that suggests to me that it shouldn't work. So we're just going to run through the roster I made for them so you guys can see what Team Power Forward would look like and we can kind of talk about how we thought they might do. So I put them on the Knicks. Maybe 2K just doesn't want to see the Knicks succeed. I don't know. Here we go, we got Chris Stapps Porzingis, who's the highest rated power forward in the league, uh, Blake Griffin. I'm guessing if, if I was running this team, I'd run either Griffin or Draymond at point guard. They're both pretty good passers. Porzingis being 7'3", he's got to be the center. Aldridge would be the starting power forward on the power forward team. Love, a small forward, I suppose. Or no, Harris would be our small forward. Leaves more versatile. Siakam. Power forward is really a weird position in the NBA right now, I feel like. You know, there's a lot of guys here in this 80, 81, 82 range, and no one above a 90. So the power forward team, honestly, they'd probably be like our shooting guard team, a 4-5 seed, maybe even a 7-8 seed, just because of the lack of ball handling. And honestly, they could even get out-rebounded in a lot of these games against some of the best centers. So I think the power forward team would be the worst team. But let me know what you think. Do you think the power forward team would be the worst team? Let me know in the comments. Leave a like below for this video if you want me to do an all-time version of this, just the greatest point guards of all time in an all-time tournament. We could do it like that, it really raise the stakes. The all-time point guard team, though, I will say, running Magic Johnson at center would be pretty good. The all-time small forward team, I feel like we honestly have like the best small forwards of all time playing right now. Obviously, we don't have Larry Bird. I know, but we got LeBron, we got Durant, Giannis, we got some boys. The all-time shooting guard team, they still don't have the center, so I think they would struggle because they just don't, I don't know, point guards oddly oddly have better rebounding than shooting guards. It doesn't make sense, but Ben Simmons and Magic, there it is. And then the all-time power forward team, I also think would be the worst team of all time. The all-time center team, we're adding Shaq, we're adding Hakeem, we're adding some big guys to that. Uh, Kareem, they don't help the spacing issue, but they do make the team just better. Um, so yeah, let me know what you thought of this video, guys, and peace!